Okay, we're going to take a look at how to get data from CSV file into QGIS and then um, format that based on a category within your data. So this is our data file here, it's a CSV file, comma separated values file. Let's just open that up to have a look at the data. What you'll notice is that each column is a single attribute. So column A is species, um, uh, British National Grid grid reference, and then the XY version of the British National Grid grid reference, and then latitude and longitude, which we're not going to use. Uh, all we really need is the species and the X and the Y coordinates, or any other attribute columns that you're actually going to be using in QGIS to either format or label that data. If your data is not in columns, say it's in rows, uh, for example, if we just quickly rotate this data around, if it looks like this, you will have to put it in columns. It will not read it in rows. It works in columns. So if you copy your data, open up a new tab, right click, and then transpose, that'll put it in the columns that you need. Then file, save as, and then save that as a CSV file. If you are working on a multiple tab Excel sheet and you save as CSV, it will only save the active tab and not these other, um, not the other tabs, just the single tab because it's not actually an Excel document that you're saving. It's just a comma separated value table, which is basically just the one tab. So let's close this anyway and come and have a look at QGIS at how we get it into here. So we go to layers, then add layer, this option here, add delimited text layer. We need to know where our file is. Oh, actually, sorry, let's go into here. And that's our dummy bat data there. So we'll open that. Uh, it's a CSV file. We've got the field names at the first record. So that's basically the top row. Our X field, surprisingly, is X. Y field is Y. Because we work in, in British National Grid, it's the correct um, the correct coordinate reference system. We then have a little preview of the data here. And that all looks good and fine, so we're going to add that data. And that seems to work. So at the moment, we've got all of these different bat species as purple. If we wanted to change the symbol or change the color based on the species, we need to open this up, properties, <clears throat> come into symbology, go to categorized. We need to choose the column that we are going to categorize it by. In this case, it's going to be species. Um, we then yeah, we can choose um, a color ramp. Oh, that's the drop down. color ramps. We can choose a color ramp or if you're going to actually specify specific colors for these later on um, then just ignore that step and come straight down here. If you press on the classify it will basically give you um, a different color for each species that's in that column and also one for any values, any any row within that table that didn't have um, a species assigned to it, but I know in this case that wasn't the case, so I'm going to delete that. I'm then going to reapply my colors, so then it actually just distributes that over th that color ramp over the three different values. Um, we then click on apply and OK, and then we can see we've got some navy blue that are common pipistrelle. We can turn them all the other species off. So that's our common pipistrelle. Let's just take off the background mapping so you can see. Um, we have noctules in a different color and then we have soprano pipistrels in a different color. If you want to individually change these symbols um, you can open up the properties again here. Um, double click on the symbol here and then that will give you options to change Say we wanted a, a bigger one 
for that particular species and we're happy with the color. Okay, apply. So now common pipstrels have a bigger symbol. See, we weren't happy with this color for noctule. We wanted to make it a, a nice uh, fluorescent green color. And okay, apply. There, that's then the green. And then, yeah, see, we're completely happy with Soprano Pipistrel, but we're not happy with it being a circle. Let's turn it into a square instead. Okay, apply, okay. Then there you go. And that is bringing in different, um, bringing in a data set from a CSV file and then applying different symbols based on a category such as species or species group uh, within that CSV file. Hope that helps. Cheers. Bye.